Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm excited to announce our 10th Divi plugin. It's called the Divi Taxonomy Helper. So you may be thinking, well, that's kind of an odd name, and it's because it's a little bit of an odd plugin. This plugin enables image support for taxonomies, and then it also enables support for you to add those in the theme builder. So you can make pages for like uh, your event categories or you know, WooCommerce product categories, blog post categories, tags, and have an image associated with the theme builder template. Also, it has a custom module with a lot of content and design settings, and we're gonna take a look at all this here real quick. And you can see all this information here on the release blog post and also on the product page. So what we're gonna do is go in the back end of our demo site. And the first thing you'll go to is theme options, and you'll see that we have a new tab here. And you can see that all these are enabled, which means that we can now add images to these items. So if I go over here to categories, you can see that I can add images. In fact, right here, this option here to add an image thumbnail is added by our plugin. Over here, I have a theme builder template set up for categories. So in here, I have a couple examples, but in the section, I have the background image set to the featured image, which is that image that I've added to the taxonomy, all right? Same here with just a regular image module. It's set as a featured image with dynamic content. And then when someone goes and views the category page, they will see you know the title and the image and the description, everything relevant to that particular thing because it's all dynamic in the theme builder. And here's just a quick example of that. You can see the images in the background there or the images here as an image module. Next is adding the module. So if you search for taxonomy, you can find it. And here is basically um, a grid layout that's totally customizable. And you can choose you know, which post type, um, what to display. You can even use dynamic content. If you added this to a blog post, it would show the categories in that post. Here you can select individual terms that you would want to show up right here. You can set the number of items, the description length, how everything is ordered, you know, by title, post count, random. Um, you can customize the button text, you know, um, view posts or whatever you want to say there. You can customize the layout, um, the number of columns, things like that, the spacing in between. You can turn things on and off. You can show a post count, which is the number of items in that taxonomy. You can turn on pagination, show the button description, image, and you can even show icons if you want instead of the images. In the design tab is pretty much everything you would expect, everything to style every part of this. Taxonomies is like the whole, you know, the whole card here in the grid, the images, icons, the title text, the post count text, description text, and the button. Everything is normal, all the, all the settings you would expect, border and spacing and you know, here's the image height and width and you know, the fit and everything that you would expect for styling can be done here. And we'll show you some demos. Here's a couple demos that I threw together. Um, just, you know, it's totally endless, right? So here's another one. You can do anything that you want with the styling. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed that little tour around the plugin. And admittedly, it is a little bit unique, but hey, so are we. We saw a need in the market for it, so we created it. A really good use case is you know, product categories, really good for your e-commerce store. Event categories, if you're using you know, the events calendar, maybe our Divi events calendar. If you're using LearnDash or Lifter or something like that, great for courses and topics. Um, you know, obviously for projects in your portfolio, great for that as well, and blog posts. So pretty much wide open, any custom taxonomies and post types that you add, it's great for them as well. So I hope you can see the value in this little plugin, and I hope you enjoy it.